Okie cokey, big in a pokey. It's a horrendous day today. It is non-stop raining. It's been raining for hours. Um, <coughs> I'm still lurgied up, but needs must. Tomorrow, I'm going to a John Butler Trio concert in Exeter mm. and uh, it's miles away. Three hours by car and three hours back and yes, I'm going down there. But I am staying at Mr Martin's this evening so that it cuts out, I don't know, about 50 minutes of the journey so that's going to help saw this band in America. They're an Australian band, but I saw them in America at a place called The Gorge. I went to a music festival with a, an ex-boyfriend and uh, they were playing at The Gorge and they're just incredible. Kind of folky, country, rock, a bit alternative, very cool. And they're not, uh, they're, they're not in this country much, so this was the only date that I could make work-wise. So I thought, why not? I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to do it on my own. And hopefully it's going to be a great, great night, a great evening. So it's currently 20 past two. And I've packed, got my ticket. I've got a simply cooked meal to take down to Martin's because he's useless. And uh, let's go on my two day adventure and on the Todd as usual. Morning, all. Uh, sorry, I didn't vlog at all yesterday, but uh, the weather was pants yesterday, wasn't it? Uh, Martin and I went out for a really nice four mile walk. And then we came home and I cooked and then we went to the cinema and we saw A Star Is Born with Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper and it was incredible. It's a very emotional film. Uh, incredible. Really, really good. Recommend it. Um, anyway, so at the moment I'm just getting myself ready. I'm still at Martin's flat. He's gone off to work. I'm just about to make myself a takeaway coffee to take me something in the car and I am off to Exeter. Exciting! Hooky cooky! We're in the car. Got my takeaway coffee. It's actually boiling. So we're in Andover and we're going to Exeter. Although I might go to a place called Topsham instead first, which is supposed to be really, really pretty. Whew, okay, it is now um, 1.22. I am in Exeter, or just outside Exeter, in a place called Topsham. Just stopped off at a farm shop called Darts, because it looks amazeballs. And I need a wee wee. And... Uh, uh, just now I need to stretch my legs. Um, once I've been here, I'm going to go further down to Topsham, have a walk around that little town. So, it's uh, an interesting day. Let's go and have a look around this farm shop, shall we?
So I've just managed to waste about an hour in there looking at all the stuff. I've got myself, uh, I've got my dad a Christmas present and I've got a card and that's it. I could have spent more there. So back in the car, I'm going to go down to this Topsham place. So I didn't go mad. There wasn't anything that I really fancied to eat down there. So I'm going to go to Topsham and see if I can, I don't know, find something else maybe to nibble on. And then I'm going to head back into Exeter. So this is the Ex Estuary. Topsham. Bit of a bleak day, isn't it? Shame it hasn't got any blue sky. Never mind. enough of shops. Let's go find the water. So cute. Crawl in place. Busy cat. Supposed to be famous for its Dutch style houses. There you Yeah, I had some fish and chips. Snail Hotel. Coming to a natural end. How about having this at the end of your road? Gorgeous. Oh. So swallows and amazons. How lovely is this? The goat walk. So I've had a little poodle, a little explore around Topsham. It's very, very pretty. Very pretty. Even on a dull day. I think it's lovely. So now I'm going to go back to the car lot and head to Exeter and buy some food. Back in the car again. I'm a bit roasty toasty now after that walk. It's actually quite mild now and I had quite a thick coat on did quite a lot of walking but it was good fun and it was a beautiful place. So um, now I'm going to stick into the sat nav for um, Exeter Quay, historic quay and I'm going to go down there and see if, see if I can get something to eat. So I'm at the quayside. 
Um, not sure about spending three pounds actually on a car park. But hey ho. Um, it's raining. Parked in a really dodgy car park. Don't you like it? <laughs> but let's go find out what this is all about. Oh dear, I was hoping for some food. Uh -oh. Right. Okay, let's go back this way. Okay. Uh, literally, it was there for 10 minutes. It's a really dodgy area really dodgy area and this car park is in a really dodgy <laughs> dodgy area and uh, I've seen quite a few potential druggies <laughs> around here so that's three pounds down the drain because I am getting the hell out of this car park and I'm gonna go into the city centre and park in a you know proper shopping car park because this is freaking me out so and there's no way that I would be walking back here in the dark on my own not a chance but I'm alive so I'm leaving and I will find a city center car park that is nice and safe no you've got to listen to your instincts and my instincts around here they're not good so I'm going I have now parked in a city centre car park, which I'm hoping is much safer. Uh, fingers crossed. I've just stuffed my face with Wagga Mamas, which was quite nice, feeling a bit full, could do with the coffee actually. And I have just parked, uh, there's loads of people around so that's good, and I am going to go and head in. The doors, well, doors open at 7, so yeah, I guess, I guess I should walk up really, get my spot, yes. Scary, huh? <sighs> Things you have to do on your own, eh? Let's go. It's just as well I got here early because it's chocker. I think everything's going to be, all the car parks are going to be full. So, um, anyway, I've got a space. And now we have to go and see the band and hopefully it's not too scary on my own.
quarter to two in the morning. Just got back from Devon, from Exeter, absolutely shattered. The journey was horrendous. Um, I've never seen such bad fog all the way home. I had to really concentrate the whole way and um, kind of go quite slowly. So I'm absolutely shattered, um, but I've had a great night. Uh, I've had a good day. It was really, uh, it was a real adventure. So um, I hope you enjoyed the little vlog and the little bit of the John Butler trio that I managed to record. And um, I'm going to bed and I am going to have my hot water bottle and uh, just collapse and have a lie in. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you're all well and not caught in the fog and speak soon. Night -night.